Pemberton Farms. Tips and 21 proof certified. Do you have your cashiers 
No, we do not. But we are have taken steps since then to be able to execute on the 21 tips training. We actually have reached out and sent a few emails to set up a training in-house. We did have them certified in the past. We had brought somebody in from the city to the store years ago and met with approximately 15 of our employees, which were beer, wine, and liquor, as well as cashiers, as well as just general workers. But again, that was probably seven or eight years ago and turnover. But in, just to be clear, your carding system is at the point of sale? Oh, yeah. Yes. They're, they're right at the registers. And that has been in place? Probably seven or eight years. Just uh, as for the individual who performed the sale, what, uh, sure. what what's her status? She was there two days, and then when this went, um, went on, um, her husband is a firefighter for Cambridge, and he um, she just never showed back up again to work. So I mean, we wanted to sit down and talk to her. Um, Tom and I were out of town, and when we came back in, we asked her to sit down with us just to find out what um, we did have videotape and we reviewed the videotape of the incident. We, we don't take this lightly. I'm very disciplined. I'm like a drill sergeant. So um, every day when I walk up to the cashiers, I talk about carding, how important it is every single day I work. Because that's the only way you're going to get consistency is if you talk about it every single day. I'm 48 years in after. It's embarrassing to us because we, I know we do a good job at it. I just, being hurt new outside of town, it could have, but there's no excuses for that. I totally get that. Um, so you said that the employee was working at the establishment for two days two prior days. to, yes. and investigator moved in. No ask for I did, right? No ask. Uh, with that said, again, I find a violation and I would issue... Could I, could I be heard? Uh, oh, I thought you were done. Well, I'm done with questions, but I... I okay, yeah, go ahead. Make, that, that's an argument I wanted to offer the board in this case. Uh, again, as an example of the vulnerability a licensee finds themselves before the commission when they have trained and hired a new person and regrettably that person fails to follow the law. And in this case, you have a decades-old family business and a single individual when faced with this situation, uh, given the facts and the appearance of the, uh, of the operative, <coughs> made a mistake. And I would suggest to the commission that that mistake should not cost Lincoln Farms to, and its many employees to have to cease operations. I would ask the board to consider the efforts around prevention that are engaged in by this licensee and the lack of any disciplinary history with a decades long uh, record. And I respect the board wants to be consistent in its discipline, but I think that uh, while justice is blind, compassion is appropriate. And progressive discipline was always a feature that got mentioned in the commission for years to encourage licensees in their behavior. Uh, and to promote adherence to this, and I, I would hope that the commission would consider, in this case, a form of progressive discipline rather than a simple application of a standard form. Thank you. I, I do have a question since your counselor mentioned it. Um, this person was a cashier, or was this a beer and wine person? A cashier. So this person was not trained for um, tips or 21 proof? She would have been through the interview process. Not trained. She was not trained, correct. But she was... It was discussed with her through the interview process. And wait, when you're saying it was discussed with her, what exactly was discussed with her? So we talked about the 35 or older. Um, we talked about how important it is to be hearing everybody. Um, we explain how the ID machine works. Yep. More technical things of that nature as well. They're prompted by the POS system. As soon as you scan any alcohol item, check the ID. It comes up automatically. When you say it comes up automatically, what? some sort of display on the register? Exactly. 
we have, we have two screens, one that, one that faces the customer, one that faces the cashier, and if you scan liquor or wine here, it prompts check ID. So, so you can obviously bypass this on yeah, yeah, you can absolutely. continue with the sale. Yeah, 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 absolutely, press the button and keep moving. So you don't have to enter the data part? Correct. Can that system be modified? Yes, it can. It can. Have you modified it at this point? Um, my controller is working with our system right now. It had, there's a lot that has to go behind the scenes, so we have started that process. So um, they're working with IT to be able to have that pop up and put that into the system. We had to go to new, new credit cards first, and so now we're on this next. I myself have shopped in liquor establishments not in this city where the transaction cannot go forward without me producing a piece of identification. Yeah, it's all POS based back. You have to, I don't know the word. Um, you have to program it in. I know I've had to fork it. over my driver's license. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, We're working on it. The history. Yeah. Um, uh, they've been, it appears, operating since 1983 with no discipline history. Uh, in this case, I don't disagree, and this board does do progressive discipline, but like we started when we started with these cases, um, it is being considered, but this is a humongous public safety violation issue. Um, and had this licensee had other violations, I would be voting for more than two days. Um, I think it's commensurate to the type of public safety violation. Um, I understand that our violations and what we do um, affects different people, but so does what our licensees do. Um, again, I, I'm quite concerned about this type of violation, and I would stay consistent in both the violation and to the suspension. This is not a retribution type of suspension, and neither have been any of the other ones. This is commensurate to the type of violation.